Hi, today we are going to see the demo for the application called Travel Eats. So if you are traveling in a train, if you want a restaurant food means you can able to order the foods from your traveling train itself and you will be getting the order from the restaurant. So this is the main objective of the application and you will be uh, using the your PR uh, number and the train number to place your order okay and these are all the uh, software requirements for the project and we are using html css bootstrap for front end for the back end we will be using php mysql for android end we will be using angular js angular javascript for the control end okay for uh, this application is available in both version in android app as well as the php web application for android app we will be using android studio android emulator and xamp for PHP, uh, it will be using sample. Okay, and these are all the modules. So here we have three roles: administrator who manages the app, he, he will be approving the vendors, and the vendor will be registering it, and he they will be managing the food, and they will be managing the order from the customer side. Okay, and this the uh, and next one is the users. The user will be doing the registration login, and they can able to search the food, search the restaurant, and they can able to add the add to cart and place order through their PNR and the train number, and they can able to uh, see the status of your my order. So these are the modules for the project. So let's go <coughs> for the materials. So if you purchase the android uh, project you will be getting the complete android src folder so the android src folder is the project delivery folder for that and you will be getting the full documentation the web folder will be the output for web application and you will have the sql file and you will be you can able to install and uh, run the project in android emulator okay so so first we will see how to start the project to start the project you have to open XAMPP control panel that is exam control panel and open it so if you open XAMPP control panel here you will be having two server apache and mysql server so what you have to do is you have to click on start apache and start mysql so once it is started it will be in the green signal mysql is our backend database to see the backend database you have to click this admin button so once you click this admin button it will promote you to the web uh, browser and in the left hand side you can see your project database that is string and here you can see the uh, tables of the project we are using seven tables so if you select the customer details you can able to view who are all registered to this app okay so this is the backend table so if you choose product list you can able to view the items of the project so this is the pro backend table next you have to open android studio if you open android studio by default your project folder will be there in the left hand side android src is the project folder so here inside that you can see the www folder that is the source code folder so the front end will be html css you can just double click it and you can able to view the source code the core backend will be inside the js folder so you can see the angular underscore coding angular underscore user product under so these are all the uh, angular javascript coding so here we have written the android javascript codings over here angular js and to start the emulator so you have to open the device manager so here you can see the device manager open it uh, it is already opened so you select your nixis device and here you will be having the run button will be there it is already run, running okay so there will be a play button will be there you have to click this uh, play button so once you start it, your emulator getting started. So from here, you can able to see your app. So travel eats. So open it. So here, you can able to search the restaurant. You can able to place order from the user side. So first, we will <coughs> log in as a user. In your project delivery file, there will be a readme file will be there. So here you can see the readme file. If you open that, here we have given you the credential over here. So for the user, it is user at gmail.com. So login. So if you are a new user, go to the new user, new user tab. So here you have to enter your name, email ID, password, and all, and use your real mobile number so that you will be getting a OTP. So the OTP option will be available for the Indian customers only. So I'm just login with the existing user, user at gmail.com, password is test. 
login successful so once you login as a user so you can able to search by means of locality wise so for example if you are uh, traveling uh, you are if your boarding point is chennai or crossing chennai you can choose the chennai restaurant also you can able to uh, search by means of the name wise okay so you can able to search by means of name wise so i'm just choosing chennai so here you will have a beautiful ui okay so here two items are there so i am going to add one item so add to cart so it is cart added successfully and uh, you can once you add the cart you can still i am going to add another item also it is added successfully to go to the cart click on the go to cart so i have added two items if you want to delete the items you can still delete remove the item so the, the total is 40 rupees and if you want to add any quantities you can edit the quantities over here so you can still continue to add further items or you can place order so i am going to place order now so previously i have added the <coughs> train number pnr number for the previous order if you want to edit your shipping details you can edit it you can enter the latest pnr number and uh, uh, train number seat number and all so here you have two options like a wallet and a cod if you are choosing wallet uh, we are using a dummy wallet option in your, in this project so that payment will be deducted from your wallet app itself okay so i am going to place order order now so it is ordered successfully our order id is 98329 the status is bending okay and you can provide the feedback if you want to provide the feedback you can go to the feedback and you can write the feedback over here you can write a feedback for this the you can see the status over here and in if you right click it you can able to view your my accounts my uh, you can check your order status in my order and in the wallet you can have the dummy wallet so from here our 40 rupees will be deducted so so previously it is 2000 it is deducted now so i'm just logging out from the user side so let's move for the vendor side to deliver the project so the vendor if you are a new vendor you have to register the vendor so in the left hand side you can see your project okay so you can able to manage your items and you can add new restaurants also and i can in the my sales you can go to the sales so just now we have placed on order for the today date so you can the status is pending you can click on view more to view all the items over here you can see the two items has been there you can check the shipping details i am just going to uh, change the status to on the way like that you can change to preparing delivered like that so it is and you can go back you can see the status is on the way for this product so you can manage your my sales over here and if you want to add a new restaurant go to the add restaurant here you can able to add the restaurant by means of location and the name so if you are managing multiple restaurant so you can still add over here you can add the restaurant so you can provide the restaurant name location and close the image So to upload the image to the emulator so what you have to do is so here you have to select the image and drag and drop the image over here so if you paste it then only it will be coming over here go to the stk build 
downloads and here you can see whatever the image you are copied over here so it will be you have to drag and drop the image over here and upload it okay so this is how you have to add the new images <laughs> so you can add the restaurants and if you want to add new items go to the my items and here you have to add the items over here so previously i have added the item so if you want to delete the item you can delete it you can uh, still update the price or uh, the restaurant you can upload the image for it if you want to add the new item go to the add new item and provide these details and here you have to choose which restaurant the items belongs to okay. so the vendor will be managing all the sales orders from the customers and he will be managing the restaurant and the products so finally we will go for the admin login so the admin login is admin at gmail.com so what admin will do is So what admin do you do is admin will approve the new vendor so if you are registering as a new vendor you can't log in directly so they will be verifying you by means of call or email and initially the status will be pending and they will be updating the status to approval or a rejector like that so, so unless it is approved you can't do the login in the app and the user uh, you can admin can able to view the user details so who are all registered to this app you can able to view over here and uh, if, you, if you are providing any feedback so if the feedback is abused content so if you are writing any ab abused contents means the admin can able to delete the reviews over here so so he will have the control of the feedback so this is what the explanation of the project thank you